Hey guys, I'm back with another thrift haul for you. This one, totally dedicated to fall. I've made like two or three trips to get all of these clothes. I'm attempting to film some of this while my baby is sleeping, but my toddler is still awake, so. What are you making? Dinner. You're making, he's making dinner. So. Uh, I'm not, I'm not making dinner. I'm, I'm eating the dinner. I oh. eat the orange and eating the Kiwi. So things I want to. I'm ready to go to bed. You're ready to go to bed? Okay. Intermission. Okay. I'm back. Take seven trillion thirteen thousand hundred and twenty five thousand. <laughs> Let's try this again. The first thing I have is this pair of yellow linen wide leg pants. It's got a drawstring at the waist, which I really like, so you can cinch it in to fit your body. I did crop the bottom a little bit already and I haven't hemmed it, but they're from the brand Chadwick's. They're a size 12, which again, like I said, is not my size at all, but these were $4. I've been trying out this like wide leg trend. I'm not sure how comfortable I am in it yet. I just feel weird seeing myself in that kind of thing. I love it on other people, so I feel like I need to give it a chance. And so I really like them. I think if I can just figure out how to wear them and get comfortable with the idea of the wide leg, I think they'll be a great staple for fall. I've been wanting a plaid blazer. I feel like they're super in this year and I love that you can kind of dress them up or dress them down with just like a graphic tee or a plain t-shirt under and some ripped jeans. It's a little more brown than I was thinking, but it's got this like subtle orange stripe in it and like a charcoal stripe and then some white in it. So I like that it has multiple colors going on. This is from the brand NPC Fashions. It's like an old people brand. I don't know what it is. And it was $6. And so I'm really excited to wear this. I just need to play around with it and I think it'll be really fun. I'm taking a starburst break really quick. <laughs> Let's move on. The next thing I picked up was this black sweater with a big white heart on the front. Got hair on it. Postpartum shedding is real, guys. Like everyone else, I'm sure, just love easy sweaters in the fall. This one was $5. Um, it doesn't have a brand tag on it. Next, I have this gray sweater. I just think a girl can never have too many gray sweaters. It's just basic crew neckline. The interest really comes in in the sleeves, down the arm. There's ruching, um, there's these ties that come out at the wrist and you can cinch it up as much as you want and tie a little bow. I just think it's super fun and a little bit different. And this one I got for $5 and it's from the brand Very J and it's a size small. The next top I got is a little bit different for me, not that it's that crazy or out there or anything, but it's this striped top and it's like got this wrap top, which I like wrap tops especially right now they're easy for nursing and then it's got a tie at the bust too so it's kind of a cropped length it's from the brand no boundaries i really like this i think this would be cute with just a pair of black pants or a pair of skinny jeans yield booties and throw a jacket on if it gets too cold so this isn't too exciting but i liked that it was more of a fuzzy texture it's not fuzzy it's just more textured again sweaters are just a fall staple you gotta stock up on them it's from the brand sonoma it's a size medium and it was five dollars and it's just got like a very i don't know it's very basic it's a sweater what can i say about it it's a sweater all right this next top is a little different a little different than a sweater. Get myself a hat on the back for that one. This is just kind of a silky, it's not really silk, it's like silky, chiffon -y. It's from H&M and it was $5. It's just black, but it's got this cute white floral print. I feel like you can get away with some floral prints in the fall if they're like darker colors. My favorite part about it is the sleeves. Got this really cool ruffle, comes up the arm and is open on this side. I am a sucker for like ruffles and just interesting sleeves and things. All right, I think I only have two more things. Like I said before, it's always a good day when you can find a jumpsuit at the thrift store. This one is from the brand Dress Forum Los Angeles, size medium. Everything else is from DI. This one was from Savers. It's just a black jumpsuit with a white pinstripe. 
but it's got pockets in the front, it buttons all the way down, and um, it's a little bit cropped. Planning on wearing this with either a cardigan or like a jean jacket. On the subject of jumpsuits, just one quick little note. You kind of have to learn your individual thrift store and how it's laid out. I feel like if you take like one shopping trip and take your time to figure out how they organize things, it really helps you to be able to find what you're looking for and find the kinds of pieces that you like. At DI, jumpsuits are always just looped in with their dresses. On the other hand, at Savers, they do not put their jumpsuits in with their dresses. Are you ready for the secret? They put their jumpsuits in this very weird category, this little tiny section of the store. It's usually like one aisle away from the dresses and it's a section called Global Fashion. I don't know why they put it in a place called Global Fashion. Do they originate in a foreign land? Maybe they do and I'm just clueless. It just kind of honestly seems like a weird mod podge of items every time I look in there. Like there will be like a sequin vest, um, a wrestling uniform, a jumpsuit, a pair of overalls, and like a corset. Very strange. But that's just a little secret for you guys. If you're shopping at Savers and wonder, hey, where can I find jumpsuits? I've never seen jumpsuits before. Global fashions. Go look. Every time I go, they've got tons of jumpsuits. I'm telling you. I have been looking for heeled mules for the longest time. And I don't know if you knew this was a thing, but there is such thing as a thrift nemesis, okay? And there is a lady that goes to one of the DIs that I go to often. She is on the hunt, I swear, for the same exact things as I am. She races me to the new racks. Like we make eye contact across the store and we both like book it over to the new racks and then like go as quickly as we can, meet in the middle and like grabbing things in front. <laughs> okay, it's not that dramatic, but I swear she's there. Every time I am, she always goes through the new racks and Everything I like peek in her cart is totally my style, things I would have picked up too. So I feel like when I'm there and I see her there, I have to be on my game, I have to be fast, I have to be focused, and I have to hit the spots that I care about the most. So last time I was there, I see my thrift nemesis out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, girl, today I am on the hunt for a good pair of shoes. So I'm gonna go to the shoes real quick, real fast. I go over to the shoes, what do you know? I'm on this end, I spot her across the other side. So I'm going through the shoes as fast as I can. We're almost meeting in the middle and what do I spy? These bad boys. I grabbed them as fast as I could possibly grab a pair of shoes and these are perfect. I love them so much. They're black, they're suede, They've got the perfect height heel, I think. These are from the brand American Eagle. They're in such good condition. They're a size eight, usually I'm a size seven, so I don't know. But, and they were $4. That is so great, can't be beat. And I got them before my thrift nemesis did. So this is just a win all around. I will think of victory every time I wear these shoes. All right guys, um, that's everything I have to show you today. Like I said, I went to the thrift store last night. My main purpose in going last night was to get stuff for a couple refashions I have in mind that I'm really excited about. So expect one of those probably next week. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you guys again soon. Bye. Hey guys. Hey. Okay, this is part of the reason why I sat on the floor last time because I felt less awkward with my arms. I don't know what I'm doing with them. Hey, people, it's nice to see ya. That was weird. Okay. Stop saying okay. <sighs> Called. Oh my gosh, it just went out of my head. What's it called? Okay, you know how last video, if you watched till the end, I like mentioned that I'm obsessed with Gordon Ramsay. I like watch all of his shows and I love him. But I'm like trying to m master all his mannerisms because they're very, very distinct. But he always goes like... And that was absolutely brilliant.